Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and this lab is easy but little bit tricky. So first of all, just log in with your credentials and once you're done with this, now just simply come on the task number one and just copy this API name. Okay, just copy this. Do not copy that semicolon, just make sure of that. Now click on this checkbox and then click on this agree and continue. Wait for a second and here just simply search over here and in the marketplace, you can see your API. Just open this thing in new tab, wait for a couple of seconds. and then click on enable and you are done with the task number one again scroll down and now copy this document ai go back to your dashboard and just simply search over here and then open this thing in new tab just wait for a second then click on this explodes and just wait and here you can see form parcel click on this create processors and for the processors name copy this name make sure you do not copy an extra space okay just make sure of that copy that paste over here and just simply click on create now what you have to do if you just come on the task numbers three you can see the dot pdf file just click over here and this file download to your local system okay now what you have to do click on this upload option then click on this file and upload it it will take a couple of seconds so just wait for that and just simply click on this cross and if you just simply come on the task number five we will get this kind of output so just wait for a couple of seconds and let's see and we got the output now what we have to do click on this my processors and then click on this name okay now just simply search for the vm instance and open this thing in new tab now what you have to do just simply scroll down on task number six you can see just copy this from export to equal to sign like this okay now just come back to your ssh and click on this ssh and it will take a couple of seconds to Establish a connection, so just wait for that. And it's done. Now let me just increase the text size. Okay, now paste the command which you copy from here. Just copy this and paste over here. Now here you can see we have to just add processor ID. Now just go back to your form and here you can see this ID. So just copy this ID. And go back to your SSH and run. Just make sure that after equal to there is no extra space. Just make sure of that thing. Okay. Now, please make sure that you have to run each and every command of this lab instruction page. If you just miss one single command, you won't get a score. Okay. Now just copy this command and run. Okay. Again, scroll down. Now copy the first command of task number seven and run. Then copy second command and run. Then copy third command and run. Now copy the fourth command of task number seven and run. Now copy this fifth command and run. Now copy the last command of task number seven and run. Okay. Now again scroll down. Now copy the first command and run. Then copy the second command of task number eight and run. Okay. Now here, please pay attention guys because these two tasks are very tricky. Okay. Now just copy the first command and run. Okay. Now just wait for a couple of seconds. And it's done now just simply come on the task number 10 copy the first command and run okay now here you can see i got null value okay if you face this null value what you have to do again scroll up copy the ninth command okay and run over here just wait for to this command get executed it's done now again scroll down then copy the 10 command of task number first command of task number 10 and again i got a null value again what you have to do again scroll up copy the ninth command and run just wait for a second and done now again scroll down copy this and run over here and finally i got this kind of output you have to just do all this step again and again until and unless you get this kind of output okay now again scroll down copy this command and run over here okay we got output now if you just simply click on the check my progress you will get a score over here without any error okay now again scroll down and come on the task number 11 copy the first command run over here now copy this command and run over here now this command is going to take a couple of minutes so just wait for that meanwhile just simply scroll down and come on the task number 13 and this is the last task of our lab so just copy the first command and run over here and then copy the last command of this lab and run over here Okay, just wait. 
and step. Now if we just check the score for every task, you will get us score without any error. And that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please let me know in the comment section guys. Thanks for watching and have a good day.